Hello and welcome to Reasonable. In today's video, we will try to find out if it is true that the Russian government has banned the import and production of GMO crops and animals. The idea that Russia banned GMO crops has been floating around the internet for quite some time, often in posts or videos that are in support of Russian President Vladimir Putin. GMO crops and animals have been a topic for debate in the West as well as in Russia. First, let's start off with some background information. GMO stands for Genetically Modified Organism. A genetically modified organism is an organism whose genome has been engineered in the laboratory in order to favor the expression of desired physiological traits or the generation of desired biological products. Genetically modified foods were first approved for human consumption in the United States in 1994. Fast forward 20 years and about 90% of the corn, cotton, and soybeans planted in the United States were genetically modified. By the end of 2014, genetically modified crops covered nearly 695,000 square miles of land in more than two dozen countries worldwide. Agriculture is actually an important part of the Russian economy, and it is its second largest industry, after the oil and gas industry. Russia's agriculture sector contributes about 5% of the country's total GDP, although the sector employs about one-eighth of the total labor force. It has the world's third largest cultivated area at 488,522 square miles. However, due to the harshness of its environment, about 13.1% of its land is agricultural and only 7.4% of its land is arable. According to the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations, Russia's agricultural market has huge potential with 544 million acres and the potential to feed up to 2 billion people. Unfortunately, little is known of the current state of the agricultural industry, since much of the Russian economy is shrouded in secrecy. What is not a secret is that Russian President Vladimir Putin and other Russian politicians have remained skeptical of GMOs. Furthermore, some reports suggest that the Russian population is generally not a big fan of the idea of GMO crops and animals. Now let's see if we can find information that suggests the Russian government has indeed banned the import and production of GMO crops and animals. According to the Russian news agency TASS, Russian President Vladimir Putin signed a law that banned the import and distribution of GMO crops and animals in 2016. This law was passed by the State Duma on the 24th of June 2016 and was approved by the Federation Council on the 29th of June 2016. And here is an article by the Moscow Times that describes the passing of the bill that bans GMO crops and animals published on the 24th of June 2016. Upon further research, we were able to find a report on this new law by the USDA Foreign Agricultural Service. You can find the link to the report in the description if you're interested in reading the details. Also, there are exemptions on the import and production of GMO crops for research purposes in this law. In other words, the Russian government still allows research on GMO crops and animals. And this article describes that the Russian government actually softened the restrictions on the import of GMO soybeans and GMO soy meal on the 16th of April, 2020. So, the idea that the Russian government banned GMO crops and animals with some exemptions seems correct, at least on paper. We have little to no possibilities to check whether the import and production of GMO crops and animals has actually stopped, but we can confirm that this bill was passed by the State Duma, the Federation Council, and Russian President Vladimir Putin. That being said, there seems to be more to the story. There are indications that Russia's policies on GMO crops and animals may be a deliberate information or disinformation campaign. For example, a 2018 study by the Iowa State University found that Russian state-backed media outlets RT and Sputnik publish more English-language articles containing the word GMO than the Huffington Post, Fox News, CNN, Breitbart News, and MSNBC combined. While GMO crops are definitely a hot topic in the West and in Russia, the sheer volume of information published by Russian state-backed media outlets seems odd and uncoincidental. Next to that, researchers of the Iowa State University identified a large amount of GMO clickbait that contained what could be considered negative or distasteful information. Furthermore, MIT Technology Review published an article in February 2018 
This article concluded that Russian-backed disinformation campaigns were sowing public confusion about GMOs by promoting conspiracy theories about GMO crops and animals. So what can we conclude? Did the Russian government actually ban GMO crops and animals? Or is it all just a disinformation campaign? The answer is that according to the information we were able to find, the Russian government did ban the import and production of GMO crops and animals by passing a new bill in 2016. However, we have little to no possibilities to check whether this law is actually being enforced. And while the topic of GMO crops and animals is definitely worthwhile discussing, we must also take into account the seemingly deliberate information or disinformation campaign orchestrated by the Russian government and targeted on Western audiences. Thanks for watching this video. Let us know what you think of our analysis in the comment section, and make sure to like and subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos and updates.